Hi guys. Okay, so I'm trying out some new organization for my dies, actually. And I'm going to use this Darice Embossing Essentials um, binder. Mm, organization folder, whatever you want to call it. So um, this, I purchased this at AC Moore, but they do have these um, at Joann's online. As well as another website that I've seen. Joann's has these on sale right now, so they end up being cheaper than what I purchased them for. No, actually, AC Moore, I used a coupon and they had a 60% off or 55% off, something like that. So I was able to get this one for a lot cheaper. And notice this says new size holds five by seven. I have smaller ones that hold four by six. So embossing folders do fit in here because I'm using these for embossing folders too. Why? Because when you put them in the pocket, you can actually see the the image and I wasn't using my embossing folders nearly enough and I still probably am not so I thought I would go ahead and give this a try for my dies as well um I do put my dies on magnetic sheets I buy these online from a place called Magnet Valley out of California so that's where I buy them from I buy them by by a hundred something like that I buy a lot at a time because um, I just don't like my die sliding around I like to be able to see everything I'm just anal like that I guess so here's the big folder and all my um, dies that I want to organize aren't in here I'm waiting for some from Joann's to come in some of these folders to come in because I ordered like five or six of these large ones and so I'm waiting for them to come in but you'll be able to see what I've already done with this folder. And so I've done the circles together, circles, ovals, squares, and rectangles. And I don't have all of them in here because I ran out of room. See, there's one empty one right here. I was storing or am storing my, let's see, I'll show you the circles. I've shown this before. These are just folders that I got at the office um, depot or something like that. I get them when the school supplies go on sale. So I, I, I would usually buy a couple of these at a time. And this is just a regular folder. You see that it has a large eight and a half uh, by 11 magnetic sheet in here. Um, inside this pocket, see how the pocket goes all the way across? It's not one of those that's like this because it won't be able to hold the weight of the um, stuff that's in here. So these are my grand um, nestabilities from Spellbinders. So I put them in here because these won't fit in here, obviously. So I'm going to keep these in here. And I don't even think I'm going to move the smaller circles that could fit in a 5x7 pocket. See how they're like that? I could move these over, but I'm not sure if I want to do that yet. So see, I could move all of these over because they'll fit. But these will not. So I still have to keep this storage because these are really big dies and you just heard one fall. For some reason, this um, this set of dies is kind of bent and I think that's why it keeps coming off that um, magnetic sheet. These are held upright um, like this on a bookshelf. So I usually don't have to, to worry about them falling off. So that's how some of the larger Nestabilities dies are stored. But these smaller ones for card making, I can store them like this. And this way I can just flip through and see um, what type of um, how many different you know variations I could work with if I'm looking for a die that is you know circle circular they're all going to be together and that's what I was having problems with they were getting they were getting out of order and stuff so here's some of the ovals I don't have that many of those the squares kind of started taking over <laughs> these are all nestabilities you know not nestabilities they're all nesting dies except for a few um, like one of the square ones you just saw, but it was it was a square one, so I wanted to put it in here because it's a frame, and I can use these as card layers. See how these are all squares in here or square shaped. So I'm gonna plan on doing this with my dies and see how it goes. Um, I know it's a big investment because these folders are not cheap, but then again, neither are all the supplies that are in them. I mean, you can imagine how much one die is, um, and how much this binder is probably worth if I were to lose it. Um, so 
yeah, I decided to try this out and I hope you guys, maybe it will be helpful for you. I don't know. Um, see, even this one, if it fits on a 5x7 sheet, it can fit in here because these pockets are 5x7. Obviously, if you find the smaller ones that are 4x6, you could probably fit your smaller wafer dies, which I do have. And I will probably be doing that as well with some of the other dies that I carry. Like, um, I've got a lot of heart dies. Um, I've got a lot of flowers and uh, trees and border dies and all those kinds of things are probably going to go in binders like this so that when I'm looking for like say a border I can see it all in one place now this is only going to be for my wafer thin dies obviously so I thought I'd share that with you maybe that will help some of you guys get organized maybe not but anyway that's it for now um oh the price of this is uh, typically retailed at $25. AC Moore sells these for the same price as their smaller one, which is $19.99. Use a coupon. But you can only use one at AC Moore. If you go to Joann's online, you wait until the sales go on and buy the sale price. Because Joann's, while they have them at retail price at $25, they have 50% off coupons all the time. So that's how I ordered mine. Um, online with the flat rate shipping. So hopefully those will come in soon. Take care. Bye.